welcome zodiac. It's a collective read, a soul family read for whoever resonates. Just looking for the others. If you know Terrence McKenna the Bard, if you don't, YouTube Terrence McKenna the Bard. <laughs> yeah, super cool. Wrote The Food of the Gods, most notably for me. It's kind of a book that changed my life. There's something about that just hit me. Well, I look back at the transits when I became an astrologer, when I finally studied transits, just studied myself. I always recommend that as the best way. And um, sure enough, it's prominent. So, I think uh, I was thinking what's going on for me lately is just physically I'm mean, getting hammered, hammered. It's silly. I mean, it's like one thing after another. It's, it's thank God, you know, nothing serious. But it's just, uh, you know, it was June when um, the voice was very strong and I was bound and determined, feeling pretty good right at the time, to hear make a new life in Playa del Carmen. And I'm not, I'm in Cancun now, but in Playa del Carmen and, and really bear down on the channel. And I had a lot of ideas and I was ready. I was cranking like, Two and a half hours of reading is uh, video time, plus uploads. It was like ten hours a day for months and months at, at that time. And um, uh, the voice it, in me simply said very clearly, um, "You are shut down for your own good. Do not resist." And I just smiled when I heard that because I know now. I know to listen it never says anything bad never anything negative most loving and mindful and healing and wise love I've ever experienced it's uh, this voice that I hear I've called a voice just my mind you know hear the auditory hallucinations without large doses of psilocybin and mushrooms which I'm not against you know or for you know it's just a plant that grows naturally in the ground you know why would anyone have a particular opinion about anything after that? <laughs> uh, so, what I'm thinking I'm going to look at first, just pull the four cards. Because, uh, I, I don't know, it's big energies, guys. If everything's getting ready to go into Scorpio now, I'm telling you the world stage, I think you're seeing it. You know, I just saw where... <laughs> Possibly the uh, now there's confirmation of dark matter, so it means Einstein's theory of relativity could be wrong, completely wrong. So, oops, you know, we don't really understand reality well. I mean, is that really a big shocker? You know, I um, guess we maybe we can go faster than the speed of light. I don't know. Einstein doesn't know. He's way smarter than me. So, uh, but things are changing, man. Things are popping, and and I always look at personal. Uh, psychology personal parts of the chart really don't care that much transit to transit in general i'll leave that to the aquarians for me it's my third house now i'm, I'm fixing i've got t-square venus in my third t-square with uranus opposition and square saturn and it's big the next one's going to hit me on saturn <laughs> yeah. Uh, when Saturn and Uranus square, uh, it'll be within the orb of my natal Venus and a T square. So it's been a, it's been that kind of year. So I really want to shake these up and and see if I can find the Sun card here. There you go. So we have the Sun card, and it's next to the Empress. <laughs> It's next to, it's after the Eight of Swords, and, shit, I'll just make this the whole reading. There's plenty here. I'm going to clarify. Thank you, Spirit, in the name of light and love, so it serves the highest good only. Giving me clear messages here today, whatever it is you want us to hear. For me, I'm asking, because I think it's my soul family, maybe some of you. Um, you want to understand Mars maybe it's been hard physically I'm gonna tell you how I feel it's it's conflicted because I know on the one hand everything in me knows spiritual I have to just accept that's that's if there's any battle left it's to just accept and uh, acquiesce but on the other hand here's how I relate to this eight of swords um, I'm I've got this Mars energy going around strong 
and you know it's very interesting that the sun is here um, I, I, I woke up thinking of this and when I put the sun I said I got to do the sun reading this is what I'm doing I really wake up thinking of something strong just pull it out of the deck see what's around it there's a story for me and I hope something for you but I just keep having a feeling it's a theme for me too but I, I woke up thinking about it that Mars is strong right now I know Mars is not the sun but Mars has got that sun energy and Mars is full of strength right now um, and it's getting ready to enter um, Scorpio and it's going to be um, major energy going on as we go into Sun and Scorpio it's just bad things have to come out it's detoxification comes to mind physically you think of Mars as the body too and the Sun and I always think of the fifth house with the Sun creativity fun children romance full summer Leo this is the high cotton in the northern hemisphere when everything is growing everything is alive the world is alive you know it's summer fish are jumping the cotton is high this is the summer energy it's like I feel it's almost rejecting it it's like no I ain't got time for that. You know why I don't got time for that? Because I'm Mars and I don't give a fuck. And I got to worry about right now. Uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. And the sun always wants to mix it up in there and everybody else. And I don't give a fuck because I'm Mars. And I'm going to do what I want to. And that's kind of how I feel. It, I feel a little truculent with the spirit, you know, and it's like I've been so accepting, so passive, and I'm just kind of like, you know, I want to roll up and crawl up onto one knee and throw a punch for change, <laughs> you know, and I don't mean that violently, I mean that spiritually, and then look at the outcome, Empress. I'm going to call this the outcome, this is on the other side of the sun. What's on the other side of the sun? Well, we get the world and we get the empress. That's pretty darn solid energy right there. I think I'm doing the right thing for me. I guess that's what I want to say. And, you know, I make a joke about it, but it's not really a joke. You know, I was... Uh, Honestly, years ago, I was, I was in a very kind of hippie commune type of place that was cool. And I was laying on my back, kind of tripping, and I, was, I had my eyes closed, and this, I could see the sun on the side of my lips. And I was having a talk with the sun. And I said, you know, you think you're so strong, sun. I said, in a few billion years, you're going to burn up. This whole galaxy, everything will be gone. I said, I'm an eternal thing, sun. Let me explain how this works. I was never born, never die. And I said, so who's the bitch here and who's the boss here? I think you got this backwards. I said, son, honest to God, you're my bitch. Do you understand me? And I didn't even realize it, but I'm laying there saying this out loud. And my friend is standing over me laughing, going, Jesus Christ, David, you're actually bullying the son. You're worse than my husband. <laughs> she walks away. <laughs> but you got, I don't know, man. I don't want to be pushed around by the plants all the time. And Mars feels like right now it's the only one to stand the fuck up against all of this uh, backwards energy. And I'm just saying enough, you know, and enough. It's like in the Matrix when he just goes and the bullets just drop. It's like enough, enough. The drama, the this, the that, the stress, and the... I get it all, I'm an astrologer, I get it all. I can feel I'm in a T-square, Uranus, remember Venus, square, Saturn. Okay, my Venus on Neptune to boot. Neptune kind of square my sun in the process of that. You know how that goes. Yeah, so I'm just tired of it. And you know what? I'm a grown up. I understand how I work very well. I spent my life figuring that out. Just gotta make sure it's not like a snake or something. You ever know how to juggle? Uh, and, uh, you know, um, 
I think I feel like I'm ready to take full responsibility and be the empress, you know. And I'll tell you, this is another person in the tarot, the most powerful feminine energy in the tarot. It's just divine feminine emperor energy. You could say Taurus energy. This is Taurus exalted, Venus exalted in Taurus. This is heaven on earth, heaven on earth energy, you know, with the, the empress. And it's a hell of a way to go. Hell of a way to go from the Eight of Swords to the Empress. And let me tell you this. End up with Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Now you tell me what the hell is that? So I really don't mean it to be a love reading. But on the other side of the sun is just real truth and uh, of ourselves and being fully ourselves and being abundant and feeling abundant and feeling healthy and alive and sensual and in control and powerful and giving so powerful that the empress can actually give that's the difference between the emperor and the emperor is usually holding on energy controlling energy with the empress upright she will give to the empire she's a great mother here Almost, you could say, a guy and mother figure. Yes. And now, for the overall energy on the bottom of the deck, the two of cups. There's something coming in. This is going to be emotional. This is going to be love. This is going to be someone offering you a genuine emotional interaction. It doesn't necessarily have to be sexual. This could be an animal. Just did the pet read yesterday. It's up on my channel, Pet Lovers Weekly Read. You know, where I do a heart spread for pet lovers. But this is someone coming in. You notice that, of course, you see the animal there while I say the cats. So again, you know, with the Leo energy, the sun brings the Leo energy. Wow. So, um, I hope this is a helpful read. You know, I want to try to go a little deeper with this and touch on things, uh, speak to the people who might consider yourself you know simpatico and, and the soul family here uh, i'd love to see this shared it by you by to wherever you think they might uh, find it uh, helpful uh, i'm thinking of this for light workers energy workers healers uh, of all kinds i'd love to uh, and i'd love to work with them in astrology uh, work with many um, it's it's been like one of the most amazing experiences of my life was just doing when I was learning over 50 European uh, psychics like kind of bonafide from a big group and over and over and over seeing it in the chart seeing it in the chart and, and uh, just amazing uh, similarities they're all kind of from England so they're, most of them were there some were born a little uh, outside in Speria but they uh, you know, came back to England. Um, so there was a, a lot of similarities too. Um, but um, I feel like that's what we're dealing with here. You know, just a deeply, deeply uh, spiritual um, e evolution here. And I know for me, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I've been in a divine feminine, trust me, forever. And it's just time for me to uh, manifest some of the divine masculine energies in terms of uh, my spiritual life. Uh, that's just how I feel about it. And it is a feeling of alignment with Mars, like uh, taking responsibility for my actions and uh, willfully engaging instead of sitting back, the Eight of Swords, sitting back. It's like really wanting to get out of this. This is what this is for me. That's the past. What's coming here is the sun, the other side, and love, in a nutshell. Thank you, guys.